to talk now about the most important piece of evidence in the entire Christian worldview. You might believe that God exists because there's good evidence for God's existence. But like Frank said, this is a tier level, right? Because there's no truth, there's no objective truth about God. If there's no God, there's no truth about Christianity. So we build the case from the ground up. And we're going to talk now about the most important piece of evidence that demonstrates the truth of the Christian worldview. And we're going to start with this death scene. Officers were dispatched to this in Torrance. This was the nightstand of a woman who was dead in her bed. And officers were dispatched. You know, not every death scene is a crime scene. There are four ways to die. So when they got dispatched to this, they had known this lady for years. In our city, she was a very well-known heroin abuser. I had arrested her for bank robbery years before. Not a lot of women bank robbers live in your town, I bet. But they have a lot, we had this one. And when they got there, knowing that she's dead, and they've called us to come to the, 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 the scene, they walked in and they saw her nightstand. Here's a close-up of it. You can see that she's using here her heroin needles. Here's one. Here's another. Here's another. She also smoked rock cocaine to kind of balance this. So these are her rock pipes. So if you know someone's a lifelong you know, drug user, and um, as you, you get there at the death report to take a DBR, that's what we call our dead body report, so you guys are in law enforcement, probably know what I'm talking about. And we get dispatched for this DBR, and we get there, and this is what we see. What do you think the officers assume immediately? Overdose. So they call a coroner, you know, in Los Angeles County, our coroner recently quit. It takes forever to get a coroner's investigator to respond to a scene. An hour and a half later, the coroner investigates there, pulls the blankets down, and she's been stabbed to death. They never even thought to look. You realize that your presuppositions will actually determine how you see evidence. It's not just that you'll miss something. It's that you'll see something and misinterpret it based on your presupposition. That's why we don't walk into crime scenes thinking we already know how to solve this. Oh, this has to be a domestic violence murder. Really? I've done that before. You walk in thinking it has to be a certain kind of murder with a certain kind of suspect, and you're chasing your tail for two weeks because you're wrong. Your presupposition is wrong. Make sense? Yeah. This is important to think about because what we're trying to determine here is what is reasonable. Remember I told you last night, possible doesn't count. Reasonable counts because that's the standard of proof in jury trials. It's beyond a reasonable doubt. But the question is, how do we ever determine in any given setting what is evidentially reasonable? That's what we're going to talk about in this session. And we're going to do it by looking at a death scene together, okay? Here's a death scene. This is kind of gruesome. I'm warning you now. Dead guy laying face down on the floor. <laughs> 